All right, a few last rules about indefinite about definite integrals. Uh, we would hope that the constant vertical multiplier rule works, and indeed it does. So if you have a constant multiplier there, you can bring it out of the integral and write it there, times the integral a to b f of x dx. If k is a constant, not changing with x or with t if that's the variable that we're integrating. That's the constant vertical multiplier rule. Uh, the constant horizontal multiplier rule would be the integral a to b f of k times x dx. Mul at multiplying by k there is stretching things horizontally or shrinking them. Is that equal to k times the integral a to b f of x dx? The answer, we would like it to be yes. The answer is actually not just no, but draw a red box around it, cross it out, and maybe do some scribbling and say, nope. So what do we do if we have a constant horizontal multiplier? We need chapter 6.1, which is called U substitution. So we'll leave that as kind of a cliffhanger. Um, let's think more about travel distance. The integral 1 to 4 v of t dt, if v of t was constant in that interval like it was for our situation, we'd say that that box area is what, 60 times 4 minus 1, which is 180. Okay, so far? All right, so here's a silly question. What about the integral from 4 to 1 v of t dt. So we still have that height of 60 from our previous example, but now I'm starting at 4 and going back to 1. So the height is still 60, but how am I going to write my difference of x's? I've been writing at stop point minus start point. My stop point here is 1, and my start point is 4. So this is 60 times negative 3, which is negative 180. So it's now possible to have a negative area if you're integrating backwards. So does that actually make sense? If you say, it, um, starting at time 4, how far did I drive until time 1? You probably drove backward 180 miles to get where you were at time 1, right? So integrating a positive function backwards gives a negative area because the width is negative. So I mean backwards along the x-axis, not backwards like antiderivative versus derivative. Um, because the width is negative. All right, so that's all the pieces we need for chapter 5.2.